Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who? Who lives in the sea? Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap- Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. It's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell! Wow, that's great, Patrick! So we put the toy robots in here... Okay! Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay! Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick... Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry, so I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs! Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever! Good night, SpongeBob! Good night, Patrick! The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay! Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button! I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day.
Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow, a promotion! That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. It shines. Nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bent all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. 
what are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. To another town. God, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Patrick, nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you.
rolling green hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. It shines! <laughs> 
Mermaid Man, I have all your comics and toys and mail. Uh, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Well, the robots and the. Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me poop. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Talking to me. 
Oh, my Nero! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton! Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting! Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you!
Oh, hi there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Patrick, I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy! I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure up, Mrs. Bo Star. Did I get a cookie? No.
Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> friend Squidward, can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying Downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. 
Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula! I could really use that! Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this! Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big! Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump! How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots! Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Thank you. 
What's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That bear antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree doll. Okay, Larry, you got a deal.
funny. Thank you. to open this door from the inside. broken the sea needle that's horrible the sea needle is the cradle of crochet corner yes yes it is but what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows mr Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this easy i just clear my mind money 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 now listen here boy you know that i'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects but i'm going to sweeten the deal if you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Because uh, they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? Right, Mr. Krabs, break them I shall. You've got a deal.
Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no, everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly, you can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand.
Sometimes pushing a single button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Pop. Yeah. 
a golden spatula as a reward. Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town III, and Fort Patty Town III would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle. Right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Rising must get you higher.
Hey, Gary!
has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no-good robot, I'll give you a big reward.
It shines. The ultimate wedgie experience. Thank you.
SpongeBob, you're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. I have brought you two here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> His challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Looks like the robot left itself vulnerable! Great Barrier Reef! Taking a beating out there.
an electrifying match! Oh, that was fun! Your turn, SpongeBob! golden spatula. And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton! Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the jump bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me.
my heroes. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, boy, would I? Okay, then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh... We've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now, back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster.
the most satisfying. Push, 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 push.
Jingle Boy! Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. You have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Unlike you. Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir! That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy.
you know, you pulled it off. Congratulations, kid. Now, if I could only find my dentures. Boy. Say, warn me if that...
your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, Varmint. Yeah! <laughs> 
Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago. But I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! SpongeBob, the museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward.
sand mountain where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess. And now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a dick. Most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down.
yell a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. in the morning. Smells like victory. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula!
slicking. SpongeBob, you beat my best time! Here's a spatula! for speed with this aerodynamic physique, but I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time.
SpongeBob, you beat my best time. Here's a spatula. didn't know you wouldn't mind again wouldn't mind of course i mind it's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy and what does patrick want with that stuff anyway he doesn't even know how to ski i want the warm now
Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up. Y it is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments! Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room! Shoot! I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man! You won't be disappointed! Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed! To the doctor's office! Oh!
The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never! Make the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh, wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side, and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. I wonder what this does.
there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! System, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the button! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! Deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Meow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. <laughs>
to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. Gain control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! 
Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's VCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. Thank <laughs> you. 
just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto! Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob, but it's time to stop yapping and get to it! Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride!
for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. SpongeBob? Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary and attention. When you're not moving, press this button and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Yeah. <laughs> 
I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. This week. Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket! Yes! And then stop on your children! This has been a- Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out. 
get me back the restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! You had me worried there for an employee. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. Here we are in the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. 
Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean the campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Puff. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you found all of them. Woo! Up we go! 
Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but the old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. This does.
Hey, kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well then, you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals.
That's much better. Superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> there. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Barnacle boy, I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye.
Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Well, I am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. You could say I had that course licked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spatula. Thanks, Mermaid Man. Bob, there you are. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. 
I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. I'll cherish it always. The graveyard of ships, somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter waits. <laughs> Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it... Get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going!
Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward! Swab the poop deck! Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum wisp to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Thank you. 
Cha-ching! Cha-ching! with Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs.
Boy, we did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them spiky words! If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on.
What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Ow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Ow, ow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Ow. I'm ready! Ow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing the four-lane highway. A creature with a backbone! Cha-ching! 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 Hello, 
Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels? We're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I can do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? <laughs>
For heaven's sake, boy, cover your ears. Mr. Krabs? What are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy, or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. Squidward, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean? Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat and... Forget the hat! Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this!
Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it! Now here is your reward. Trade shiny objects for a golden spatula. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. So that's so that's so that's.
SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's a golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> what? Here's a... Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket! Yes! Right where you're standing! Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement! And then stop on your children! And stop on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love! That guy, with that big square head and those short shorts, that's the most hideous thing I've ever seen! Wait, that hideous thing looks like me! I always knew Spongebob would be the death of me! Jump in, jelly beans! A robot Spongebob! There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you, something else funny. Plankton, <gasps> you're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold, the Duplicatotron! I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time! SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob! Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy... Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! And here we are, folks, the main event! A gauntlet of ever-increasing ferocity! The humanity! Or should I say, the fishanity! That's the ticket! Say hello to my little bubble friend! Look at that! The robot made himself dizzy! But better change tactics and fast! Say hello to my little bubble friend! Suck it to him, SpongeBob! Dick's yeah. 
What'd he do? What? Oh, um, yeah. All my plans ruined! That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh-oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh, yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot. Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized coffee grinder. Oh, yeah? I'll show you. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did. Next time, I'll get it right. <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! The in yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob SquarePants! If not every nonsense be something you wish? SpongeBob SquarePants! Then drop on the deck and flop like a fish! SpongeBob SquarePants! Ready?